What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate and we are going to be working with a uh, plugin called Edge Commons and uh, this right here allows us to add in well just about anything really but what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be adding in sound. Now for those that are familiar with some uh, uh, older uh, Edge Animate lessons I did one for Buzz b-u-z-z -Z. and uh there was always a lot of feedback on how to stop and start and stop and start the sound and uh there was one person that was able to do it however uh he never got back with me on exactly how he did it and so uh, doing some research i found edge commons and i tell you i like this one better so let's go ahead and do some sounding here so here we go so basically what we do is that we do a mouse over on our and then we mouse out and it automatically stops it okay then we got our baby here and then we mouse out and the baby stops mouse out and the car stops and then we got our record player mouse out and the record player stops so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's go ahead and jump into it create a new composition and the first thing we want to do here and let's bring this back open again is we're going to go over to edge common so that's uh, www.edgedocs.com and then once you get over to edgedocs.com you just click on edge commons and it will load this page so the first thing that we want to do here once we get here and I'll have this link in, in the description below and so it's come down here to the recommended loaded procedures with complete callback. So this is what we want. So we just copy this right here. And then we come back over here inside of our stage and go to creation complete and then paste it in. Okay, this right here is going to load this JavaScript file into Edge for us. And so now I mean, you can easily go in yonder and add this into the HTML file itself. But I find that this is a lot easier uh, to work with. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to do is go back over to our Edge uh, common site. Come over here to our navigation and choose sound. And then what we want to do here is grab a hold of this sound right here. And then over inside of our um, creation complete, we're going to come down and right under ec.debug, we're going to paste this in. Okay, now we're going to save this and we're going to save this inside of our lessons folder and we're going to get rid of test. Okay, and now we're going to name this one uh, lesson one. Okay, now uh, we automatically have access to our images uh, folder, but if you don't, you hit control I. And then we grab a hold of these images here. So we're just going to grab a hold of them and drag them. And if it's got a, a space in it, it's automatically going to let you know that it's going to add in an underscore. So no big deal there. So let's go ahead and add in our baby. Grab a hold of our small car. Add it here. Our doorbell. Once again, it's going to give us that warning. Let's doorbell there. And then our record player. So we're just going to move these around here. And then bring our car down to there and our baby right here. And yeah, so anyway, try not to hit the baby's diaper there. Okay, so now what we want to do here is that we're going to add in some sound. So we need to come over here and we've got a folder which is inside of our. Uh, lessons and it's sounds and inside of sounds we've got baby crying car doorbell dash one and record player so then we've got to add in these inside of our stage so what we're going to do and we don't have no OGG files so we're going to remove them but if you do have other assets which is mp3 and OGG uh, then you would keep this in and then you would add that in but however I do not have them so now what we want to do here is that we want to remove okay let's come over here and then let's 
add in this one and add in a comma so basically comma 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 and then the very last one does not have a comma and so let's go ahead and double quote on these as well okay so now our first one here let's go over here and get the name of our files is um, we're gonna do baby crying we'll come over here to our ID and name it baby and then our next one is going to be a car we're going to come over here and name it car this one right here is going to be doorbell dash one we're going to come over here to doorbell and then our last one is going to be record player and we're going to come over here to our id and name it record okay so now we've got baby crying car doorbell dash one and record player also you need uh depends on where you have your media at mine is sitting inside of a sounds folder with a capital s so it's capital s and ends with an s as in plural and so uh that's basically it let's name this um uh, sounds lesson and this basically right here would just load inside of your debugger at the very bottom so no big deal here you don't have to add in this part right here but you can if you want so let's go ahead and save that okay now the next thing that we want to do is that we've got to add in our um our uh, ability to play our sounds okay let's go ahead and bring this baby down before we do our sound because it's just not doing right so there we go that looks a lot better okay so now with our sound we come over here and we're going to do mouse out over now you can easily do click so you you can add a click event but we're going to do a mouse over so we click on mouse over i'm going to type in ec dot sound dot play and which one did we choose here we choose the record player so let's type in record we're going to copy this then we're going to come over here and we're going to do a mouse out the only thing we're going to do here is change this to stop. So our mouse over is going to play and our mouse out is going to stop. And so now whenever we run it, we got to give it a second for it to load. And it's not wanting to load. Okay, it seems like we found our problem and what it was was that our ec.sound needed to be a capital S and so on both of them we need to make sure we got a capital S so that's capital EC dot capital S and then everything else can be lowercase and so that's how it needs to be in order for it to play so whenever we run it got to give it a second for it to load and there it goes so okay so now let's do the rest of them so we can easily just come in here and copy this let's go over here to the doorbell and we want to do a mouse over and I want to change this one to door bell come over here to mouse out and we want to stop it so let's go ahead and stop and then door bell and let's come over here to our car mouse over Change that to car and then mouse out. Change this to car and stop. And then our very last one, which is our baby crying. Change this to baby and then mouse out. We want to stop our baby from crying. And so now when we run it, as mentioned before we need to give it a second for it to load itself and then we can run our mouse over and there we go now each one of these sounds that I've got here um, I got from the um, they're free to download this right here got our doorbell so you can come over here and check out the different sounds for doorbells. 
And then we've got Sound Dog, which is where I got the other sounds from. They've got a full library. All of this is free to use uh, within your project. Okay, Wayne Barron here for darkfix.net. Um, oh yeah, and there is some cost for some of them. So some of them are free, some of them are not free. So anyway, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net inside of Adobe Edge Animate, and we are using Edge Commons. So y'all go check them out. The link, all the information is in the uh, description below as well as the entire project here for this one. So, all right, y'all have a rocking weekend now. Bye-bye.